Parental discretion is advised. Find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh? Check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at sliceonbroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. Hey guys, are you enjoying the Wrestling Mayhem Show? Are you finding value in these conversations? Do you want to support it so we can become even bigger? Check out patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Want to have your business or podcast featured on the show? Contact us at info at sorgatronmedia.com. Subject line, advertising. Hey guys, it's the Wrestling Mayhem Show 437. That's a lot of numbers. That's a lot of Tuesdays. We're still here. And we'll be here next Tuesday. Well, most of us. Um, this is a show where we talk wrestling. Fans talking wrestling. Wrestling from fans. Sure, that's our new logo. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitters. Coming to you live from Pittsburgh, PA, in the Mayhem Studios. Ready to get rowdy in this. And dressing like Dolph Ziggler. Because that's what that leads to, apparently. Uh, with me from the uh, uh, from the catacombs deep below uh, the Monongahela River is uh, Papa Lunchbox. What's up, everybody? It's Papa Lunchbox. Uh, I am underneath the city of Pittsburgh, traveling around in the tunnels in my secret, formerly Sophie Maslov's base. My nipples are absolutely rock hard, and I am thrilled to be on episode 437 of the Wrestling Mayhem Show because 37 is the greatest number of all time. Sword? As yes, above, it is. So below. Yes, it is. And the guy <laughs> that loves number 37, I don't know if it's giving or receiving, it's Bobby F. J-Town. Oh, he's got a thing in front of him. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, no. Oh, no. Google, no. Docs. Google Docs is my in your face. way. My face is being obstructed by a Google Doc. Hmm. Get that out of my face. It's out of your face. Hi. Hi. Yes. Oh, yeah, you're back. I'm back. I'm, I'm sorry to all the video listeners. My face is not attractive. Oh, <laughs> video <laughs> listeners? The video yeah. listeners, yes. I've created a new, a new clientele. The video <laughs> listeners. It's somebody, who, it's somebody who plays the video and just listens to it and doesn't watch it. <laughs> I do that. Nice. I definitely do that. The Riz is also with us, also from the greater Pittsburgh area. Hi, everybody. Bullshit. Bullshit? Bullshit. Riz is not from the greater Pittsburgh area. I am close the lesser to the Pittsburgh area. area. You are a magical fairy creature that exists in my imagination. We all <laughs> fucked you up. Uh, if you believe in Riz, clap your hands. It's a oh, secret. I just turn it You're off. Not to tell anybody, Lunchbox. <sighs> why why, why must you? Why must you ruin everything? You know what? You get cool because I mean, I made you up in. I made, I what? Did you tell me to Bitcoin myself? No. <laughs> you, get, you get cool in your damn stocking, sir. Make yourself into a, a and, fake internet and coin. By, and by cool, and by cool, I mean I'm going to shit in one of your socks. The vapors. Riz, if Again. you're flirting with me, it's working. Good. On that note, guys, uh, we'll get to the love later in the show. Uh, but of course, this is your wrestling. Somebody's mayhem gonna show. get fingered tonight gonna, on the wrestling mayhem show. You're gonna find the conclusion Not of that at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. <laughs> We're on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, of course, video and audio formats. Please subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Uh, share us, comment, please let us know what you think of the show. Um, and also, you can drop us a line to the uh, wonderful email address at. <laughs> Good times at Wrestling Mayhem Show. Dakow. War 1 2 206 WMS 0 is the hotline. We got a phone number, or we got a phone call about that too. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know words. I'm going to drink another we, we one. Need a cool Excuse jingle me. for that too, by the way. Since WWE does it for $9.99 now, $9.99. we need a cool jingle for that song. For uh, that, for that. Also, big zero. thanks. To our, uh, for our intro from the great Basic Sickness, a Pittsburgh artist here. Check out more from him at basicsickness.com. Some free music videos, um, all kinds of stuff. 
Really cool dude. Uh, you can also uh, check us out here live every Tuesday at live.sorgatronmedia.com. Hey, if you're put off by ads, we've been uh, actually testing out YouTube live streaming, which is rock solid so far. So uh, go check us out. Give it another chance if you uh, want to check it out again. You can Chromecast it, guys. Like like that. Chromecast. I understand from Brother Sorg. TV. It works out very well, runs smoother, and his computer is freed up to look out all the porn he wants to. Uh, so that's fun. Uh, also, Ooh. big shout out. You can support us, as as you heard at the top of the show, at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show, uh, such as uh, our, our, our good friends over at the wrestling revolution.com, a great community over there. I've been dipping into it a little bit more lately, so maybe you'll see this face, this icon around i don't actually i don't know what my icon is over there i have to go check that um and also the other one bo diggity Woo! Uh, for supporting the show we talked about that a bit last week on wms gold about uh what we liked uh what they liked about what was going on with that and they get exclusive benefits like the gold stuff like Slawcast that was debuted this, the, tonight uh if you don't catch that live you can catch it there um, you can also uh, uh, get monthly updates. I'm letting you know exactly what we're doing at the Mayhem Show, where we hope to go with it. And uh, I'm looking for your feedback on a different level than we do with a lot of other people um, that that just kind of float by. You know, if you want the down low, low down, down low, D-Lo Brown, D-Lo Brown, I, whatever it is, uh, please go to patreoncom Show for that, guys. If- we what? If you go, if you go to Patreon and donate, maybe you'll get a D'Lo Brown vest where you can jump off the top rope on somebody and injure them. No promises. Not saying. Not no saying. No promises. You know what? I'm there. You know, you guys are listening. You're listening to the top of the show here. I we're gonna put this out there. The uh, the the for the Patreons that do, put in a donation, it can be anything to the show in the next week. Anybody any new Patreons by the time I get here. Next week, we'll be eligible for Slammiversary TNA. Wait, we want people to sign up, right? Uh, okay, <laughs> do you want the depressing world-class <laughs> wrestling? Garbage. Tell you what, whoever wins gets to pick world-class championship wrestling, although I don't know why you oh, would. Oh, now we're going to depress them. I know. Or, we want people or to sign up. Or Slammiversary, which includes uh, King of the Mount match with Christian Cage, Sting, Jeff Jarrett, Abyss, and The Truth. Huh, Please who's that guy? Take- uh, take, so there you go. It's just like watching WWE now. Um, take one of but, our equally depressing videos. <laughs> any, any new Patreons, you go, you're going to go into a random number uh, generator, and you're going to be able to pick one of those uh, here the week from now. So yeah, whatever you put in, it, it doesn't matter. Uh, it, but if you need a dollar, if you want to get all the bonus stuff uh, per episode, so please go check that out. Hey, guys, we got emails. I can't wait to see how this goes. Uh, first one by Alex Carr. Does anybody want this one? Nope, I'm calling dibs on the second one. All right, I got this one. Hello, 10 Percenters. It's your boy, Alex Cars, back by popular demand. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, de- <laughs> for these, so this is where we, this is the show where I allow myself to laugh at poop jokes, okay? That could be a tagline to this podcast. Anyways. Uh, that, back by popular that, demand. That <laughs> After s- cars. What? Was that you speaking or Alexander Carr? No, that's me. That's me okay. with the poop All jokes. Right. That's me. Okay. I'm allowed to here. This is where I do this. <laughs> um, get it out of my system so I can be a professional around <laughs> business women in the morning. Get it? System? Poop? <laughs> <laughs> Bobby's a goat. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, back by popular demand, after a self-imposed <laughs> exile from the world of email, a.k.a. fixing a technical issue that could be better explained on another podcast. Yes. Um, I have a question for you, one that hasn't been asked in months. What is NXT? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. According to Brandon Stroud, <laughs> Triple H is E-Fed. That's... <laughs> I love that line. I, lo- I love that's, 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 the, that's the best. Fucking Stroud. Uh, that's a rhetorical question. The reason no one's asked it in months is because everyone knows what NXT is, especially after last Thursday's Takeover Fatal Four Way Special. NXT is the second W in WWE wrestling. <coughs> hey, mute button. Uh, because of this, it's also the E entertainment and now the whole first w 
world can witness the rise of NXT for only $9.90 a month or equivalent costs after currency conversion on the WWE Network. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some work to do over at WrestleWork.com, a wrestling-centric social network you should check out. Boom, cheap Put plug. in that WrestleWork. <laughs> if you want to know some more about it, I wrote a small article about it on my site, PowerToTheSmarks.com. Until next time, this is Alex Cars reminding you to watch more wrestling. Do it for The Rock. Do it for the people. P.S. <laughs> the people. I totally wrote poop for you to read out loud on a live broadcast. <laughs> Let's see if you fix that in post. No. <laughs> Hashtag heel. Nope. No, no, that was a hey. face. That was a face move right there. Um, yeah, yeah, Alex, Alex, have you ever seen their show? I mean, you've. I mean, we've. We've. I mean, come on. We read. We read things verbatim. I it, it, called. I called the the vapors diarrhea on on, on gold. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no spoilers. No spoilers. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Um. Yeah, we're and, not giving that. We're not giving that away for free. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. All right, with that, um, uh, Mr. LB, yes, if you will, if you will. Are we going to answer the question? Oh, there's a question. Oh, no, that's, no, that's <laughs> it was rhetorical, but no, we should rhetorical. talk about that because that was the joke, right? What is NXT? Triple H is even. Yeah. And I think everybody that said what is NXT and joked about that is now really into NXT. Mm -hmm. Chachi religiously watches NXT and Total Divas Friday morning at work. Because <laughs> every Friday morning, I'm getting messages from him on Google Chat uh, about Divas and NXT. And it's fantastic. He is converted. He is like a WWE mark for a portion of WWE. And it's worth it. And he probably pays that. You know, going from what it used to be. Um, and it's deserved. It's been a fantastic show for the last uh, six months. So. All right. Uh, dear Mayhem panel, I have a friend named Jimmy. Valiant is he in his struggles as he often uses rolling thunder in a zigzag form. And he was recently wished luck on his future endeavors as he began using Stardust. It's a sad case of evolution from hard times progressing in his thug life. This is basic thugonomics, and having seen this twist of fate before, I am saddened by this page turner resulting in me having to see a bro down. It's as if he is his own rainmaker, constantly giving his own face wash, but I wish he would simply go to sleep so that he may once again be that shining wizard as powerful as Oz. <laughs> Vinny, his friend in Vegas, is to blame for the jackknife in his life, but he is a psycho. Sid is who I'm most disappointed in, especially when he joined the bank biker gang, Scorpion. Deathlock is now the handle he must, much like a fireman, carry on his shoulder. Block him if you see him on Twitter. Question. <laughs> I have so many. <laughs> With the incorporation of a new 999 song for a commercial, can you think of a worse marketing ploy committed by the WWE? That song is first catchy, of all, and I defy all, you. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Bobby? That song is catchy, and I defy you for not liking it. Hmm. Oh. It's Bowling for Soup for Wrestling Fans. Remember that? Riz? It, it's, 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 it's supposed to be not good. Catchy. Because it's catchy, just uh, like Flocko Flocko Flamingos won that thing. Flocko <laughs> Flamingo, Flocko Flamingo, Flocko Flamingo. Uh, I, I do. Do any of you guys have an answer to his question? The marketing ploy. Uh, yeah, a worse, a worse marketing ploy. Then did everybody forget about the XW uh, XFL? Yeah, so I was just gonna say the XFL. <laughs> that was terrible. Remember, let's do let's do let's do football, but make it you know in this different time zone time frame that football is, and make it happen and make it not like football. We'll have Jr. call it, and it'll be just like wrestling, but only for football. Mm -hmm. Let's have instead of a coin toss, more danger added to the game. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm going to pick a uh, call and talk to, I think it was Mean Gene for uh, uh, five ninety nine a minute. Yeah, that's Gene's sex line. That's my vote. Sor Sorgatron? So uh, I just watched part of the commercial because I didn't get to watch it yet. 
Um, because I oh, you were on your, your <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, no, but why, really, we're annoyed by this. This is like yeah. general ads. How, how is how are you annoyed by this song? Yeah, I mean it's it's kind of interesting. I mean, I like better the um, the uh, oh, what are the other ones they're doing? Like the where it's like everything's black and white and red, and uh, there was like, oh, they're showing all the old clips. Like those are so like, I mean this this is poppy. Yes, this is, but they're hitting both sides of it. Um, I can't remember the last time I've seen WWE be this creative in marketing since mm-hmm. they did the Super Bowl commercial. Oh, oh no! The uh, the the WWE Network, the original WWE Network. Oh, the one, the song, the the, the dubstep. W- oh yeah, that made us all <laughs> discover <laughs> dubstep. <laughs> yep, like that was great. That was great. Yep, it was different. It was like, what is this? Bow wow 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 wow! I'm buying I, that. I can, and then I they can, took it away from us for a while. Yeah, I can attest that song was worse than this song. Worse, no, worse. Both were equally awesome. It sounded like robots humping each other. That's what dubstep is. Dubstep is Transformers having sex. Yeah. That's how they make it. And that's what it is. That's how they make mini cars. This song that they're playing now for the 999 is a lot more catchy than that bullshit. You say that to Enzo Amori's face. He has dubstep. Actually, um... I'm actually, I'm probably his size, so it could probably work. <laughs> For some reason, I thought you were about to say, I'm probably his son. And you can't <laughs> teach that. I probably am, now I think about it. Huh. I mean, I, I'm i starting to get, like, these little leopard prints in my hair. Riz is an Italian name. It is. Just Riz. Rizza. Rizza. Riz. So, Rizza is also a rapper, so I'm part, you know, part of the Wu-Tang Clan, so... I'm part Chinese. Uh, moving on, Sorg. There's no Chinese people in the Wu-Tang Clan, number one. Wu-Tang! <laughs> that doesn't right. make them Chinese. My only experience with the Wu-Tang Clan is the PlayStation game I bought. <laughs> that game was amazing! Uh, n- the Wu- oh, you're talking about the fighting game? Yeah! Son of a bitch, that game was awesome! And really hard. Mm-hmm. What the very difficult Def Jam game? No, no, not the Def Jam game. There was a specific. It was for the PS One. It was Wu Tang, like thirty six chambers, kind of bad fighting game. That's what it was called. Thirty six chambers, like bad, kind of bad, bad kind of bad, bad kind of bad, I mean, kind of bad edition, kind of yeah. bad. <laughs> it was off the. Right. Uh, there was a game called Thrill Kill, and I think it was the engine off of that when they canceled Thrill Kill. Sorry. Okay. Anyways, moving on. Yeah. Wrong podcast. That's a different Back to podcast. The- word. Back to the email. One word for me, tout. Mm-hmm. Hope you guys kill it with comedic content, guys. It's been a pleasure as always. Regards, Dustin. P.S. I have become a typical whore with oh. some of the work I have been okay. doing and broke down. So now I'm on Twitter at Mr. DRG underscore W-I-R. Oh. And I can't help but get lost in Jesse Goddard's tweets. Please inform me who you guys feel I should be following, besides at Mayhem Show, of course. I'll tell you who you should follow. You should follow right. at Panel Riot, the premier <laughs> podcast anywhere on the internet. If you like comics or anything related to comics, give them a follow at Panel Riot and say hi to Intern Stan. Is uh, are, are they looking? Is, is he looking for wrestling tweeter, tweeters? Who cares? Okay. okay. Riz? Recommend somebody. Who do you, you like? Know, you, know, you know who you can follow? Who do you like on Twitter, Riz? How about DJ Lunchbox? <gasps> How about Bobby Why, F. That's J-Town? me. How about <laughs> at Bobby F. J. Town? How about <gasps> at Sorgatron? No, no, follow about, that guy. Or, or you know what? What, what Sorg? What? You don't want him to follow you? Oh, not that. No, <laughs> he's not entertaining. How about. Oh, oh, whoa. How about the Riz? Extra E for emphasis. So How Riz. about Mad Mike at 4883? How about Hot Wheels Seven. RWA? How Whatever. about Brother Sorg? How about yeah. Brother Sorg? How about, How about Mainstream Matt? Mainstream Matt? Mainstream Show? How actually, about... no, seriously, actually, do do follow Mainstream Matt because his blog is Mainstream amazing. Mainstream Matt is pretty um, good. Just don't, don't fall into Twitter's temptations. What? Twitter, 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 Twitter is terrible. The company is terrible. Do you know who they are suggesting su- suggesting that I follow? <laughs> Me? 
<laughs> they've been suggesting all week long. I don't know how to get rid of who they suggest to follow. They've been suggesting that I follow Mojo Raleigh. Stay hype, Bobby. To a week. I am never following Mojo Raleigh. I want to <laughs> um, get rid of it. I think I'm just going to follow him to unfollow him to get rid of that. <laughs> did somebody um? Did somebody mention Tout? Tout, yes. Because I want to point out. Well, uh, yes, out of, in the email that we just yeah. read. No, no, okay, yes, yes. But um, out of curiosity, I went to Tout, which, by the way, WWE owns a portion of, right? Yeah. Um, to see if there's any activity. And WWE itself hasn't updated since July. I think they got rid of their top. Well, no, it's still here. They just haven't well, it's updated. Still there, yeah, but... uh, it's a uh, go behind the scenes of WWE's uh, Divas World Cup themed photo shoot. So there's Ooh. that. They um, did update their. Uh, they did so. update their picture though. But they have definitely you you you've seen more Instagrams. They are crazy on this. Actually, as far as follows, follow Lana w, or WWE Lana. On yeah. um, on Instagram, Instagram. it's hilarious because they do the I I am un, I am unimpressed with your America something something you know and then they're like in front of something. That's good. Lunchbox, stuff. Yeah. That's some good actually, stuff. Lunchbox actually pulled me to uh, look at Snapchats other than you know his penis. He told me that WWE even has a Snapchat. Oh no, that wasn't me. I think it was Mad Mike. Oh, Mad yeah. Mike. Sorry. Yeah, no. Because I'm I'm a firm uh, proponent of Vine. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you, WWE does some great shit on Vine. Really? <laughs> yeah. Also, hey, Sorg, what was that tout video again? What? The the World oh. Cup one? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to tout that to myself later. Oh. oh. <laughs> Bobby's going to tout himself later. <laughs> I, I, oh. oh, that's not a verb. That's not. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. we can make it a verb. Oh, he's going to yes. verb it. He's going to verb it. Oh, it no, has been verbalized. Hey, we got... Um, I don't think that's the word. We got a voicemail that I got to remember to load up here. Uh, let's make oh, that God. happen. Oh, no. It's not happening. My battery's going to die. God, gonna voice. Oh, oh, no. Sorg, hang in there. Oh, Sorg's snap. battery. Is it going to work, Sorg? Do you need me to do it? Wait, I don't know what's happening. Do you want me to... Oh, there, there he is. I found him. I found him in my box. Good oh. evening, gentlemen. It's your friend in the mainstream media. Um, a little bit under the weather. I'm sorry about my voice. Oh, no. But I just wanted to call and tell you that my wife is also under the weather. And no way. So hashtag get well, Jen. <laughs> hashtag curse for Jen. Um, I really don't have anything to say, but um, it seems like a while since I called you guys. I can't think of anything to say. Oh, I got something I can think of say. Jen's thoughts just went into my brain and came out through my body. Jen's brain wants me to tell you... Nice. Why in the blue hell does Roman Reigns get to pin Seth Rollins clean, but every time Dean Ambrose wrestled Seth Rollins, three or four guys showed up, sometimes with cinder blocks or chairs or tables, to stop him from beating Seth Rollins. She wants to know, what in the blue hell was that straight-up bullshit? That's what she said to me. Hashtag, where's Dean? And also, (laughs) I want to let you guys know, the Cena section on Sunday will be virtually microscopic. So, uh... LB, uh, don't bring anything with you. And um, don't forget to show up early, guys, because it is a 7 o'clock start time for the pre-show. Ooh. I don't know what they're going to fill up the whole full hour pre-show with. Maybe we'll get another midget match. I don't know. Is it even, am I even allowed to say midget? That was probably inappropriate. No, I, I apologize to all the midgets listening. And uh, um, that's about all I've got. Um, so it's Peter Dinklage's face. See you on the flip side. There also, Sorg, did we get did we get two messages from the anonymous WMS general manager? <laughs> what? Yeah, we did a little <laughs> bit, didn't we? Uh, sorry, that's just the way it had to go. Uh, I have an answer. Yes, for this uh, for this here question from uh, Jen Carlins. You want to know why uh, Dean Ambrose can't get a win over Seth Rollins? Uh, I'll tell you why because. Dean Ambrose is the weak spot. He was the weak spot in the Shield. No, uh, he's a garbage oh, wrestler, no. a filthy oh, no. jobber. Oh, no. and um, he will be fired within a month. Now take oh, no. that and shove it up your Cena oh, section. Whoa, oh, we got fighting words. Uh, Sorg, Sorg. Well, somebody's not hanging out with protect, us on Sunday. Protect me on Sunday. So <laughs> if, if, I mean, you'll be safe in your colleague section, <laughs> which is the entire, which house. is just one foot. <laughs> yes. You'll be safe. You'll be fine there. I personally am excited for when Dean Ambrose finally gets fired oh, no. and Jen can go visit oh, him in IWC no. and watch him get his ass kicked by RJ City <laughs> for 20 bucks. <laughs> 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, this is Dean Ambrose. 15 and an ice cream cone. Whoa. And in Wales. WWE ice cream bar. Make sure it's a WWE. What is happening right now? I won't be in attendance. I'll be watching The Sandlot, which is only marginally better than Dean Ambrose. Oh, wow. And fuck The Sandlot. Oh, no. Wow. Oh, them. No. I don't even know what the. It had a giant dog. I'm going to I'm going to follow that up with an ad. <laughs> Guys, please go check out our friends Slice on Broadway, sliceonbroadway.com. Some great slices. <laughs> the only feeding, thing we can follow that with feeding, is pizza. <laughs> feeding our people that come into the studio like AJ joining us here recently. Diggy on the awesome cast uh was enjoying some of that. People are coming in, man. I I'm getting guests like every week coming in for the awesome cast. It's pretty cool cuz I need friends that are here. Uh, Hi, um, I'm lonely. Uh, anyways, uh, go check them out. Slice on Broadway. Here in the South Hills. Of Pittsburgh. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that time uh, to yourself. Son. Get out of the house. Stop telling yourself. And go to slice on Broadway.com in the South Hills of Pittsburgh or in Carnegie PA. Uh, right off the uh, exit there of uh, you've been at the airport down on my street, <laughs> main street. It's great stuff. What? Stop the it, Bobby. <laughs> We don't have cold Road slow. show, Bobby. I like pizza. Sliceonbroadway.com. Um, so, guys, there was a yes. takeover this past week. <gasps> there was. Oh, there was. I think there we should was. talk about the NXT takeover. Of course, I know you guys, uh, a couple of you guys uh, were together. We did have a wrap-up the midweek-ish. I don't know. We, I, we haven't really settled on the name yet. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> There's yelling on Twitter. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. What have you done, Lunchbox? Oh, Lunchbox, no. why? So I only emotions. speak the truth. I Lunchbox seek fly. to break my bonds. Whoa. That's why. That's weird. That's weird. That's kinky. I don't NXT I sword. Uh NXT me, happened. And we're all John Cena fans segregated to small portions of their pay-per-view <laughs> watching parties. <laughs> <laughs> we will break free, separate, but not equal. You can't Wait. see you can't see them because their sections are small. Oh, that's right. Uh, that's right. You can't see us because we are behind pillars and we are <laughs> underground and we are not welcome in the general population. John Cena fans are Morlocks now. <laughs> what? So NXT <laughs> Sorg. No. NXT. Oh, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a, okay. I, um, I Riz, update. what did you think? Breaking news. Breaking news. Okay. Oh. Uh-oh. Jen Carlin's had nothing to do with the Cena section. It's all our friend in the mainstream media, Matt Carlin's. Dean Ambrose is fine. He's a great wrestler, and I really enjoy his, uh, his kind of – angry, violent uh, scenarios. <laughs> Matt Carlin's, though, as soon as I figure out who you're ridiculously obsessed with, Baseball? we'll revisit. And if you say the great Kali, I'll Baseball. come over there and kick your ass. Oh, he likes baseball. Of course not, Riz. You know I love the Kali. I know you do. Um, so, um, Sorg, you want to talk about TakeOver after yeah. that one? I don't know if I want to anymore. <laughs> I, feel, I feel scared now. Um, uh, we also uh, have an NXT TakeOver. Uh, it's the third special they've had, the third pay-per-view, oh my god, quality uh, special that they've had here. Um, like you mentioned earlier, Brandon Stroud, Brand Stroud mentioning it's Triple H's E-Fed. Um, I think, first of all, how about this, guys? I think if you look at what is the world of WWE like without Vince McMahon, it's NXT. Yeah. And it's better. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's NXT. Yeah. Um. Very much, because this is Triple H. From what I can tell, is is running that show down there, mm-hmm. and it there's no Vince, so yeah. you get pure what Triple H wants to do. I think. Mm-hmm. Um. It's a little bit of a playground of of playing with things. Um. Uh, was listening or uh, reading some good interviews with a friend of the show, Corey Graves, the former Sterling James Keenan. Um. Uh, about like what's going on, like stuff like the VOD villains that like just kind of said, let's try it. You know, there's, there's maybe because there's less bureaucracy down there, perhaps. Mm. Um, you know, I, 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 you always hear rumblings. Like we, we see a little bit of these leaks. Um, there's, I, I've heard some, some great stories about, uh, 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 um, uh, 
you know, some 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 promos that, that some people are trying to cut in the back that wouldn't make it to TV, but it's just, you know, good practice. Um, uh, you know, it, it's it's. It sounds like they got a good thing going there, and, and they keep saying that's the future, but I think that style may also be the future. Um, I mean, we've had the, re- the the surgence of of your ROH matches with uh, the Daniel Bryan and the Shield, for instance, um, and and this shows us, you know, we got more of that coming. You know, it's not going to you know end what? with Seth Rollins. You know, you, you know what NXT had that the WWE hasn't done in so long hmm. a vignette. They had a vignette. Where Enzo, Amore, and Cass went somewhere and did something. Mm-hmm. You know, WWE has not done that in so long, and that's what I miss about WWE. You know, you, you, so, oh, sorry. No, go ahead. Well, you know, uh, and and this can lend to a conversation about Raw as well a, a little bit, um, because I, you know, noticing that you know one thing I loved about Raw was how they did the Kali uh, Paul Heyman in the back thing. Right. Mm -hmm. Like that, Mm -hmm. like those little things that you keep coming back to that are entertaining and and string through the show. You don't get that anymore. Mm -mm. Right. You got like if you get a backstage, it's somebody running into each other or, you know, to set up whatever match that we just need to care about right now for the next 20 minutes. Or or we go back and have update and it's the same like going to the general manager's office set. Right. And something happens. It's Triple H. And then somebody walks in and wants something about their match. You know, it's it's so ridiculously paint by numbers, which I think it Mm -hmm. is. The writing team is so stretched thin because they're doing three hours on top Mm -hmm. of all this other stuff. They are just doing the paint by numbers stuff. um, And they're stuck. And Raw only like Raw was focused on one thing on Monday night. Yeah. And that was just that Brock Lesnar, John Cena, Paul Heyman thing. For the first the two rest hours, of the show, the rest of the show was just filler. Mm-hmm. Like it was not a good raw at all. It was, no. it was terrible. Now versus, that wasn't even the main event, by the way. Yeah, it wasn't the main event either. It was the halftime main event because they had to compete with Monday Night Football, even though it failed. Well, they got. <laughs> let's say they're never going to try. You know, even if it's futile. Yeah. But they got to do something to, to stem the tide a little bit, right? Yeah. So. But here, going back to NXT, um, I, I we I like Sork said we live in Pittsburgh. On Thursday night, uh, NXT was up against Thursday Night Football, mm-hmm. and it was against it was pitted the Steelers and the Ravens together. Now, normally I would watch that. Mm-hmm. But knowing how hyped this build is, Don't is say hyped. <laughs> stay hyped. Could you say it? Stay hype. I will say it. I will say it. I will say hype. Just to anger you, Bobby. But the build up to this show made me want to watch this show, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and the show did not disappoint. Yeah. Something again, like Bobby was pointing out before, that's something. That WWE hasn't done in months. Mm-hmm. Uh, I honestly can't tell you three matches from for uh, uh, Night of Champions. I yeah, can not, I can tell you the whole card for for uh, for the Fatal Four Way match for the Fatal Four Way thing. Mm-hmm. I can tell you exactly what happened. Yeah, they did not build well for this pay per view. No, but but the thing is, even if they did, I don't think it's going to touch what NXT has done. But but the last pay per view was actually good that WWE did. I, I will give them that. Yeah, but, but the last couple have been pretty decent. Mm-hmm. But which one would you say was better, NXT oh, or Takeover? Takeover. Yeah, takeover, yeah, takeover, takeover was better. Yeah. So so which one uh, got more of the mind share of your nine ninety nine? Is really the question now. I watched Takeover twice. I watched Night of Ch- or, uh, the last pay per view for WWE once. Wow. Yeah. I think that says yeah. it. I think that says it right there. Mm-hmm. So I went. I went back and watched Takeover. But but if you do want our you want you want more of a uh, full on review, uh, go check out you know our Thursday night weekend weekday midweek war thing that we do every every Thursday night. It's pretty awesome. 
<laughs> yeah, it's, it is pretty good. You guys got pretty extensive with it too. So uh, go check that out on the Wrestling Mayhem Show Super Feed on Stitcher and iTunes, for instance. Um, but uh, no, a good show. I, I love what they're Thanks, doing with the NXT. Oh. And uh, uh, it's definitely being that raw. Uh, so, uh, any other thoughts on that? Any other thoughts on raw? Even I guess going into it, uh, we we kind of we kind of talked about it last night on the uh, wrap up about how uh, and, and I wanted some quick thoughts from you guys on this. How how last night? You know, the thing I mentioned about the the segment and stringing it through, like that was the part of the Attitude Era that kind of hooked you. I thought, mm. um, you know, not the violence or ludity or anything like that it was the you know way they did string a story together through mm-hmm. the show a bit more you know um and they just don't do that anymore and it was a rare glimpse you know uh vince russo i know you're gonna laugh at this uh, vince russo came out a couple of weeks ago and uh, after after one of the raws and said i actually agree with him wwe you can do better than this mm-hmm. did you really put that show out there thinking you did your best job they're, like he said too, they're they're competing with, like this is like a golden age of television on cable right now yeah. with AMC and all their shows. They need to compete with that, and they're not doing it. They're definitely not doing it. And this week, kind of, if you want a nice little rundown of this week or th- this episode of Raw, um, just take a look at the camera match. <laughs> Ugh, how did that because, get on TV? Because- how did that get on TV? I said uh, I have watched bad women's matches over the years in indie wrestling, you know, in person, bad ones like green people, you know, like their their first match. I watched the first watch, a wait, wait, first one on one match out, recently. Out, what? Did you watch aliens wrestle? What? What the hell? I have no green, idea the... green people. Green, green, you watch no, green no, no, no. Newbies straight out of training, yeah. having their first singles match. Oh. And it was, and they were way better than that Cameron match. Because guess they what? Know how to pin people. Those ladies, those ladies that you mentioned in the indies, know how to do stuff. Yeah, they know how to pin people too. Cameron has <laughs> Sarah Del fucking Ray. Oh, but she only show, had her for way. three months. Friend of the show. And she can't do a proper pin. Like Enzo Amore says, you can't teach that. No, you pin. can, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can't teach what she did. You can't teach no, you that. Can't. You can't. Like, like, it's like, no, you, the first part of wrestling is you need to pin them. Okay, the first part is bumping, I know. But, you know, the first part is is you need to turn them over so the shoulders are down. It's almost like mat. she thought she was uh, in Supercard. So, and just did a move and everything just exploded. Maybe she's Naomi, been Naomi's too much. exploded. Wow. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either. It, it, guys, and, guys, if you want to see good wrestling, um, well, watch NXT. Go over to Sorgatron. No. Well, you can. <laughs> well, yeah. But you can also go to SorgatronMedia.com slash store. Yes. We have a lot of stuff going on there. Uh, the latest RWA uh, Fall Free for All 6 with a great four-way. Guys, BJ Whitmer from Ring of Honor was at RWA this weekend. Huh. Hmm. In the main event, in the four-way for the title. Uh, it was a, a really good show, really fun show, uh, as usually from the RWA. Uh, really picking up. Um, hey, side note, uh, they just announced uh, a salute to the troops to at California University, uh, there's going to be Shane Douglas, Sanjay Dutt, wow. and Hurricane Helms are going to be nice. in attendance. Uh, so looking forward to that as well. Of course, we'll be discussing that a bit more on the Indie Mayhem show, which we'll be talking later with Mike Kingston of Headlocked. He's got a great Kickstarter going on. Look up um, uh, Headlocked. Oh, Dark Territory? Not Dark Territory. I'm sorry. Just look up Headlocked and Kickstarter and you'll get the link over there. And we've been uh, tweeting it as well. But we're talking with him on that. So go support that. I got a great t-shirt last year. And they got a great Evolution t-shirt uh, going on as well. Uh, but Wait, from WWE Evolution? No, 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 just... no. Oh, come on. I got to pull this up now. Uh, last Territory Volume 2. Last Territory. Sorry about that. Uh, but uh, so, so go check that out. Check out Indie Mayhem Show for our interview with him. We, uh, we interviewed him a year ago when he started his first Kickstarter. He has a motion comic he did with, with uh, Ken Anderson actually doing the voiceover. 
Uh, if you get the Kickstarter, there are Kickstarter exclusives um, that are written by and, and art by guys like Jerry Lawler, like Hurricane Helms. Uh, look at this lineup. Uh, people in, involved in some way, art or story-wise. AJ Styles, John Morrison, Booker T, Kazarian. Uh, who's this Croft guy? And uh, Tony Atlas. Tony Atlas, guys. Uh, go check that out. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Hate sleeves. Tony Atlas Hate drew sleeves. the Oh, here it is, actually. This this uh, headlocked evolution it starts as the fan and then carrying the ropes and then uh, shitty baggy uh, backyard wrestler and all the way up the champion. It's a pretty cool t-shirt. Oh. <laughs> That's what I locked into. And this is what I picked up. You can get this again, too. Uh, you, I don't know if you can see it real big, but the the old school, Mar- old Marvel style comic book cover uh, t-shirt that they had. Uh, so... Uh, Really cool. It's a really good book, and I, I encourage you to go over to Headlock Comic. It's headlockcomic.com. Uh, pick up all the uh, former issues as well. Um, real positive look at pro wrestling. It, it's really cool. Um, but anyways, back to the thing. You know, uh, sorgatronmedia.com slash store. Uh, let's uh, hit you with a, a little bit from AJ Styles, The Missing Matches. And uh, we'll be right back with Remember When. I put them side by side. As, you know, the guys that I learned from, the guys that helped me get to where I'm at today. How do you fix the X Division? What's the biggest mistake that TNA has made? Who's the next breakout star? It make me bad you know, when I see this happen. I'm like, God, perception's reality. I don't think they gave him the opportunity. Just like, you know, there's a lot of guys that didn't have the opportunity. They were in and out. National Podcast Day is September 30th, but what is National Podcast Day? It's pretty simple and you can help spread the word. National Podcast Day is dedicated to promoting podcasting worldwide through public engagement. You may be asking, what can I do to get involved with National Podcast Day? It's easy. Head over to nationalpodcastday.com and check the suggestions. But ultimately, these options are endless. Remember, September 30th, nationalpodcastday.com. And let's start the conversation. Hey, guys, check out that and other awesome titles over at sorgatronmedia.com slash store. And hey, sign up for our newsletter over there as well uh, for Sorgatron Media. And you can actually get a free download of RWA Unleashed 4 with a great cage match and uh, Cruiserweight TLC. That was incredible when they happened uh from uh, back in 2012 and uh, that's for new signups only uh sample the digital downloads uh before you jump into them uh so and, and get updates on the shows and everything we're doing at sorgatronmedia.com so with that let's go over to remember when corn dog 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 and this week on remember when uh mike i think you got this right yes i do uh well you see last night's raw had a very interesting main event uh, where Mark Henry stood up for America without really standing up or yelling America. So, for this Remember When, I would like us all to think about our favorite foreign bad guys. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Can I, can I start? Can I start? Yes. I got this. Because, I mean, I mean, come on. This has to be everybody's favorite here, right? Come on. The Iron Sheik. Shiki baby. Of the show. Shiki baby. Friend of the show, Sorg. What? Friend of the show. He's a friend of the show? Yes. Well, why is he a friend of the show? Because I met him once and he recorded a little audio clip for us. Oh, that's right. I need to dig those up. We have so many audio clips of people. You know, we have an audio clip, I believe, of somebody plugging the Mayhem show who's in WWE now. Uh, The Miz? Yeah. Well, there's that. Well, I was even thinking like, like Corey Graves and stuff Ooh. um you know we we need to dig those up i need to dig th- i'm putting those on my my thing but no seriously iron chic and, and even when he was teaming with like uh nikolai volkov and stuff right um was just like the best stuff so anyways um mike how about you all right i'm going to go with a rather obscure one and i'm going to say ludwig borg god damn it <laughs> oh come on it's the first one i thought of too Bobby. Uh, uh, all right. Well, I had I, something to say. No, go ahead. I had something to say. No, I, I just love Ludwig Borga. Like, you could tell when he came in that WWE did not plan for him to go past anything resembling a mid-card 
and he was just there to represent Finland, and he was there to he was like the proto version of um oh god what's his name the uh, proto version of the guy the Russian guy who fought Kozlov he was the proto version of Kozlov basically like it was just uh, Ludwig Borger was just so much fun though I liked them. Uh, I'm sorry for stealing yours, Bobby. Oh. Both of them. Oh, you, Riz. I got one that's actually still a thing, but he's not what he used to be. Um, what? You guys, you guys remember? <laughs> what? No, no, how, no, I like it. That's a good <laughs> intro. <laughs> you know, how, how is Riz's not instantly Kali? Oh, those going there, by the way. Um, but no, seriously, uh, Seamus. Remember when he first started? He nearly killed Jamie Noble. <laughs> Twice. Yeah. Twice. And he beat John Cena for the title. Didn't he take credit for retiring Jamie Noble? He did. And he did. <laughs> if, if you want if you want to know who retired Jamie Noble, it was Seamus for almost knocking him out and almost breaking his freaking neck. Uh, yeah, that's that's who I have. Uh, but Kali was a close second, by the way. All right, all right. Uh, Bobby, uh, do you have one? I had both of mine taken. Oh no! So oh no! What about? I will wait. Uh, Wheels wait, have. Are you about to say Seamus? <laughs> no, no. Uh, uh, I am yeah. going to go with friend of the show. Sean Davari and Muhammad Hassan. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. It was good. I know it got awkward, but it was Muhammad good. Muhammad Hassan was from America, though. Technically. That's true. That, that is, is true. You know, yeah. Okay, that's it's a good gray area. He was a, a, a Muslim American. Yeah. yeah. Davari wasn't, though. But still, it was um, it was anti-American in the end, right? Like, I mean, yeah. is, is right. Sergeant right. Slaughter, you know, a foreign threat? True. In the well, end. Yeah. I have one now. Okay, Bobby. He was, he was a homegrown threat. There you go, Bobby. Mine is the ultimate warrior because he was from Parts Unknown. <laughs> <laughs> but he was not a we didn't I didn't know where he was. He was a bad guy when he first came in. Oh, no, he guy. wasn't. Even when he was a was good he? guy, he was a bad guy. <laughs> you couldn't understand him. <laughs> wow. Uh, LB, what about you? Oh. Are we talking about wrestlers whose the fact that they're foreign is why they're bad guys or that they're bad guys and foreign? I think just bad guys are foreign. Okay. Uh, well, in that case, I want to go with uh, friend of the show, Armando Estrada. He was nice. amazing. Mm-hmm. He was amazing. If you want to go bad guys who are foreign and that's why they're bad guys, Quebecers. Ooh. Ooh. Good one. Quebecers. <laughs> they still sang their intro. Mm-hmm. Oh, my. They're not the Here's in my book. Ooh, oh my. I got another one. La, Resist- La Resistance. Oh shit! I hated those guys. They were <laughs> such good heels. Remember their newscast, like at the, when they first introduced them, they no. were like at the at news desks talking. No. no. Yeah, that was a while ago. <laughs> it was, yes, it was. It was, it was. it was a while ago, but it, I, for some reason, I just remember them sitting at news desks introducing themselves, like as news anchors, but they were like French news anchors. It was weird. Also a Canadian threat. Um, I guess this counts. Um, uh, Mrs. Mrs. Carlin's here. Matt Carlin has the hots for Renee Young. Discuss. Oh, she's and a Canadian. She is a Canadian threat. That's right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I threat to well, tout myself later. <laughs> well, hold on. Hold that thought for a minute. We're going to go to the ad and we'll be right back. But if you have a foreign threat, a foreign wrestler, <laughs> What? please hashtag remember oh, when hit us up at mayhem show let us know in the comments on this youtube video or email us at good times at wrestling mayhem and maybe we'll discuss this further is there anybody we're missing there's probably somebody at home screaming why didn't you say so and so colonel mustafa he's <laughs> the iron sheet. iron sheet yeah you did say him yeah send us an email I know that nobody knows nobody uh, but nobody LAX. knows. Hey, pro wrestling teases oh, a pretty God, cool LAX thing, guys. Great. 
Uh, everybody's on pro wrestling tees, it seems, this time. I believe Headlocked is on there. Uh, indie wrestlers are on there. Podcasts are on there. Every time I turn around, I see people over at ProWrestlingTees.com. Ring of Honor. Ring of Honor. The only place to buy the original Ring of Honor is on ProWrestlingTees.com. I just saw this. I literally just saw this. Mick Foley's official merchandise store is here. Uh, there it is. Man, that's... And and while you're there, while you're getting your Ring of Honor, while you're getting your Macho Man official merchandise, Cactus Jack, Young Buck Steen, um, EC3, jeez, EC3, so many people, Jim Ross, Sham, Sam Shaw, drop Is into it? prowrestlingtees.com slash WMS, uh, Good Times Wrestling Mayhem Show, Property of Mayhem, good, the Wrestling Mayhem Show, great logo. Uh, all kinds of stuff. There's all podcasts represented here. That's awesome. Promotions, all kinds of cool stuff. Wrestling promotion tees. I wonder how many they got here now. Ooh, there's no products. Oh, I think I hit the wrong thing. Chikara is on here, guys. Beyond Wrestling. AIW is on here. Um, go support the companies that you love, the indies that you love, the podcasts that you love over at ProWrestlingTees.com. Starting at ProWrestlingTees.com slash wms uh so back to renee young hey she made history thursday first oh, female man. to do a live broadcast of a wwe event i saw and canadian double threat <laughs> double threat um but but no I, I, he's right there, there's a reason um and, and she's but she's good Mm-hmm. She's probably the best talker that they've had she's for a while. Amazing. How many backstage interview girls they've had over the years that have been like, eh? The one girl like they have now on NXT looks like she's caught in head, uh, deer caught in the headlights she has like all no the time. No idea what she's doing right now. <laughs> no idea. Mm. Hey, let's go to an interview. Yes. Uh, how do you feel, Tyler Breeze? <laughs> <laughs> she's like the female Garth. And then Tyler Breeze just takes the interview over and it's 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 done. <laughs> that means gold. But despite her, they've been having inventive interviews, like the the, the ones they've had with the Lucha guys. Um, was it what's her Lucha? Lucha is, is it Lucha, Lucha Dragon? Lucha. Their official name? Yeah, the Lucha, Lucha Dragons. Dragons. Sin Cara um, can talk now. I guys, how about I love Sin Cara now? Yeah, <laughs> everybody. This does is that. the thing that poor, happens. Poor original Sin Cara. I, mean, I I hope the second Scooby Doo movie is. Someone has stolen Sin Cara and branded him with a weird tattoo that no one knows what it means, and they have to find out what it means so we so we can still have Sin Cara be the star of the Scooby Doo. Because continually, movie. I don't understand Sin Cara until he's been explained in a Scooby Doo movie. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I mean, oh, Man- Manic has origins in a video game. Why can't Sin Cara have origins on a Scooby Doo cartoon? Speaking of uh, the Scooby Doo cartoon where uh, John Cena speaks Sin Cara, we learned last night that John Cena also speaks Punjabi. Yep. Mm-hmm. yep. And we learned on Total Divas that, that John Cena can speak Mandarin. John Cena is very well educated. John Cena is Zoolander. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. Isn't that Wait. Tyler Breeze? Or is he Hansel? Cool. Mike killed the bit. Go ahead, guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's a legitimate question. Go ahead. No, go ahead. I don't know. Go ahead. <laughs> wow. Um, so we're going into, of course, uh, Night of Legends. Night. No, Night of Champions. Night of Legends. Oh, I'm doing that again. How many Soda years sword. has it been? Is the last was it was it Night of Legends 2011? And I'm still doing that. I think hey it guys, is. it's that time of year where I screw up the name of this pay per view. <laughs> it's okay, Sorg. We all had a great summer fest, so we can it's, move on tonight. Clash at the beach. Clash <laughs> at the beach. Of <laughs> champions. <laughs> oh, With war no. games. Horror games? Oh, horror games? Horror games? Horror games? Horror games. Horror games. Is that just a, that's a different pay per view. I think it costs more than nine nine nine. We have <laughs> a lot. We have a lot going on in this pay per view. No, not really. Do we? <laughs> Uh, divas fighting all day. That's four games. <laughs> Actually, I don't see four any games. divas on oh, this. Oh, Bobby, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bobby. Oh, that's terrible. I'm sorry. Poor currently, taste, Bobby. currently lined I up. I apologize to all the divas except for Cam. Currently lined up. Of course, we got Brock Lesnar, John Cena. Are you guys looking forward to this? LB? Only if Brock Lesnar wins. Yeah. LB? I don't know, man. 
I don't know. I was a little frustrated by the segment last night because nothing made sense. No, it th- like less things made sense more than normal. That- Why? What? What was your problem? Well, he, okay, so he locked him in the locker room. That's fine. That makes sense. kali has got to watch him. That makes sense. <clears throat> But he locked him in his personal locker room where he doesn't have cell phone reception. John Cena should know that. And then uh, his cell phone gets smashed by Kali. John Cena should – like, how are you supposed to get Brock Lesnar there without any cell phone reception whatsoever? It didn't make a lot of sense. And then the part at the end where he was like, you're going to become a Paul Heyman guy because you're going to give in to your hate and beat up the evil guy. And John Cena's like, no, I'm not. And then he did it. (laughs) <laughs> I would approve you wrong, Paul. Yeah. I mean, right. It doesn't. It doesn't. It, doesn't, it, doesn't, it just. It didn't. It was poorly thought out. I feel N- nothing seemed right during that whole thing. Raw last night. Nothing. Like, it. 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 It seemed like a uh, a dream that it just seemed everything was all <laughs> mixed up. And just we're like that dream like I had, 90. where that bum kept stealing my wallet. <laughs> it, it, it had to have been a dream because Greg Cully was featured, and I think it was Riz's dream. <laughs> it was, yep. it, it, that, oh, that's why I pitched a 10 afterwards. Oh! <laughs> wow. And <laughs> touted myself. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I know, it's forgot how to do go home segments. Touted out. Because we, we had this issue right before SummerSlam, too. Like, Two weeks before SummerSlam, it seemed like they were doing a lot of go home segments, mm-hmm. and then the week before was just like, Bleh, "Here's some well, random things with the people you recognize." Again, but, it feels like the stretched out team, like yeah, the creative. Because last last week's Heyman and Cena segment, that's your go home segment. Like that should have been it. Like that was really really good. Like last they week. can't they book the fourth week, right? Yeah. They accomplished what they set out to do in making everybody go home early. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> that was a go home show. That's for yeah. Sure. That's what it meant. Anyways, I, I don't know. I don't know. Otherwise, uh, we and this doesn't make sense to me. We talked about this on the wrap up show, Mike. Uh, uh, the uh, Rollins versus Reigns happening again, despite a clean win by Reigns last night. Why? I, uh... Like if if Kane caught came in and gave Rollins the win, okay, that's justifiable to have a rematch of United Champions. That's fine. I mean, that's ABC booking. But if you have Reigns go over clean, what? Why are they fighting again? What? So the heel can get his revenge? Yeah, like, that doesn't make any sense at all. It's probably so Dean can come back on pay per view and beat yeah, up both. That's of them. what I was right, thinking, Jen. Yeah. Uh, here, I think oh, I think Dean's come, I think Dean's coming back on Raw next week. Real, real excited for that. I want to see that happen. Dean's well, not be facetious. I, 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 I genuinely really moment. do enjoy uh, Dean Ambrose. He's gonna have a stone cold moment where he just comes out on something. I hope. I hope. No, Bo- Bobby. I'm telling you, they're gonna go for the cin- they're gonna go for the cinder blocks again on Roman Reigns, the Raw after Night of Champions, and Dean's gonna be under that box. Magic. No, that's weird. Kane is a magician. Is that, 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 that would be already hidden a Christmas present or, uh, or a birthday present or whatever. Probably the sleeper, as in we're all going to doze off. Uh, Jericho versus Orton. Oh, oh my god! Which, yeah, by yeah, the yeah. way, wait, wait, which by the way was the WWE Championship match on the Armageddon in Pittsburgh T-shirt I have. <laughs> <laughs> what What was the point of the Jericho injury angle they did on Raw? If yeah. I thought he was gone. And then, like, he's wrestling again, like, two, three times. And it's like, yep. why did they do the injury angle? It, it made no it's like sense. They reset I, it, kind of. I like, think they did the injury thing because they realized, oh, wait, we can't injure Jericho out because Orton has no one for the pay-per-view. <laughs> he needs oh, a good. friend. They can just fire him then. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but he's the God most charismatic God. superstar they have. <laughs> wow. I'll Maybe on Supercar. Maybe I'll okay, see. and then we yeah. got Paige versus Nikki versus AJ. That might I'm, be okay. I'm excited for that match. Okay, I, I don't care. I'm let's see. Let's see if Nikki can go with everybody else. Okay, sure. Sheamus versus Cesaro for the U.S. Championship. That'll be good. I, I, I once That'd again, I can watch these guys punch each other mm-hmm. all day long. Yeah. So. Dolph and Miz again should be fun. Henry Rusev, I think, is going to be interesting. Oh, poor if Mark they Henry. If they keep it short. If they keep or it short, Mark it has Henry. to be. It has to be. Um, no, you know this is this is Mark Henry making Rusev go. He's the next one in the line. 
Um, mm-hmm. I, I think Rusev has a winning streak pretty much until WrestleMania. Maybe Royal Rumble. You think he'll fight Cena at WrestleMania? No. No. <laughs> no, Rusev's not going to have undefeated until WrestleMania, I don't think. No? No, because if you're going to have Lesnar hold the belt till Mania, which is more than likely, you're not also going to have Rusev then. Okay. I, I would say I would say Rusev Cena is likely like a Survivor Series thing, or a TLC. Actually, Rusev and Cena at TLC. Or can, how about a Rusev Brock Lesnar face turn? No, 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 no. no. If anything, I see if, if Cena doesn't win the belt at this pay per view, his next challenge is Rusev. It's something for him to do in the meantime. John Cena versus Rusev at Horror Games. I'm booking it now. Horror Games. <laughs> Horror Games. Horror games. Horror. How about Hall- Halloween Horvick? The Usos against the amazing Star and Gold Dust. Yes. Uh, I, by the way, I hate how they just call him Star now. I'm on board. Let's do it. Yeah, Gold and Star they should, Dust. They should call them Gold and Star Dust, not Gold and Star Dust. That annoys me. Just yeah, call them I, Gold and Star Dust. That's weird. It is weird. Um, but uh, it's going to be entertaining. I, I feel bad that people are... are, are uh, Tearing apart the Usos for having the same tag match over and over. It's like, but it's kind of okay, you know. It's okay, yeah. but they're not yeah. really interesting. But here's the thing: at least now they're out of the. Oh, we're just gonna put you guys in with whoever is feuding with the Wyatts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Now, yeah, yeah. Until uh, you know the the face turn thing, uh, you know, they'll be happy, and then they'll then they'll be back to normal. Uh, Miz, Miz, and uh, Dolph Ziggler in in a uh, match that has the lead up has has uh, what I think should be two slammies for best supporting roles <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. between R Truth yeah, and sure Damian Sandow because holy match. crap! Uh, what was it R Ziggle? R Ziggler. R Ziggler. Yeah. Don't call him what JBL calls him. What yeah, you- do not do that. Gotta have that. Got that they got they got really awkward there. <laughs> on the, um, on that match. So, does anyone else think that somehow Damian Mizdow is going to end up with the IC champion? I kind of hope so. Great. I think it would be amazing. I, I think that's the only way to go with this that that would be really fun he, and creative. He did say he had a card up his sleeve. What better way than that? Sir, uh, no? that, uh, yeah, that would that would just be fantastic. Um, and of course, uh, your pre-show, which is going to be an hour, is going to involve uh, uh, Jericho on the Peep Show with Christian. Hey guys, Christian's still employed. Uh, <laughs> he's still relevant. Hey. Last time I um, saw him, he's no, doing he's an ice bucket employed, challenge. Not relevant. Yeah, well, yeah. There's that. <laughs> um, and of course, you know they're going to have some other match on the on the pre-show. Go on that hour. They kind of have to. So. I, they're not probably the going to do like Adam Rose and the Bunny versus Slater. Yeah, here. sure, mm-hmm. sure. And maybe no, they, they maybe they'll announce some that. NXT guys in there. Maybe they'll announce that after like main event or SmackDown. They could still they still have plenty of time to do something there. So, guys, do you think WWE spoiled us by putting NXT on Raw last week? Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> I didn't watch it this week. <laughs> yes. Oh, one of the lucky ones. Um. <laughs> so with that, guys, tell me, let me know what you learned from wrestling this week. So edu- it's been educational. I know that. Riz, I know you learned something. Oh, so many things. I learned um, that I have. I learned that I I have a lot more respect for Tyson Kidd. Fact. Fact. And his fact tights. Fact. 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 Is somebody going to go fact. now? So wait, are you uh, done? I don't know. I was waiting for you to for finish. Like five five times times now. LB? Uh, I learned that, get this, John oh. Cena doesn't always think things through. <laughs> fact. <laughs> fact. Clearly, he's dating Nikki Bella. He doesn't have to think things all the way through because... Fact. She thinks no, no, no. Let him finish because why? Because Where are you going with this? I really want to know. Because she doesn't. Oh. Nailed it. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, how about you, uh, uh, Mike? I, I learned this week that um, 
Ethan Carter has pink pants and can still be hardcore. Okay. Cool. Cool. What about you, Bobby? I learned that I could be a pro wrestler because I know how to pin somebody. Fact. <laughs> Fact. <laughs> how about you, Wheels? All right, Sorg. You're going to enjoy this one. Don't take mine. I've learned that REO Speedwagon Damn. is a great song to play when the lights go out. Yeah. Oh, when the lights Fact. go out by Chris Jericho? I learned that that the you, you can't turn the lights on for five minutes after you accidentally turned them off in the middle of a wrestling show at that at that at that uh, gym. Um, that was awkward. Fact. I, I'm fact. Uh, fact. I, luckily, they had these. Why didn't you turn on the entrance lights? <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I didn't think about that until after. No. Fact. No. Apparently, fact. <laughs> Definitely a fact. <laughs> Um, no, no, yeah, so they're coming back from intermission and they, they're doing this new thing where they put the one light in the center on and, like, they're the, like, old you know, gym lights you know, that take forever to warm up and become the right color, for instance, which is mm-hmm. havoc on me on video um, so the lights were on and we're sitting there and we have five minutes and this entire crowd of, what you guys have like 200 people there yeah Um, and uh, we just go over, it's like wheels Play something from a high school dance. (laughs) And I just looked through my list, and all of a sudden, I'm like, this one. And the lights were still out, and we turned on the laser lights, and it looked like a high school dance in the gymnasium. fight this feeling And people started dancing. Who plays REO Speedwagon at a high school dance? Hey, it worked. (laughs) I think when I went to a high school dance, that's, that's what they played. Oh, wow. That seems like, what? Is that, did I just age myself? Uh, yeah. I think you did, because I don't wait, think we wait, played high school. Wait a back. minute. Wait a minute. Maybe I'm not thinking high school. Like, <laughs> I was going to say, I don't know. I don't think like, that works out. Like maybe junior high. Yeah, now, I saw I, I saw Ario Speedwagon when I was like 15. So, still figuring <laughs> that out. This conversation is making me hungry uh, for Oreos. Delivered, <laughs> delivered to me quickly. Guys, I'll let you go so you can get Bobby his Oreos Fat. and such. Fat fast wagon. Oreo Fat. fast wagon. Huh. Yeah. Uh, yep. Guys, Wrestling Mayhem Show, thanks for joining us. Uh, you can check us out at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Uh, make sure you subscribe and comment on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, YouTube, iHeartRadio all those places, video and audio formats. Uh, drop us a line to good times at wrestlingmamshow.com. Good times! Good times. I was wondering where Hashtag you guys were. Hashtag Ludwig Borg. 412-206-WMS0. <laughs> what? Ludwig Borg? <laughs> Hashtag <laughs> Ludwig Borg. What the hell? I'm Hashtag say hi, Bobby. We're going to make a trend. Oh, no. Bobby, no, get no, hype. Bobby, get hype. Big thanks to no. Matt. Mad Mike for doing the live tweets tonight and the and the show notes. Thank you for that. Some great title options going on there. You can join us here live every Tuesday at live.sorgatronmedia.com around 9 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, thank you to everybody who's joined us. Uh, please go check out uh, Mike Kingston's Headlocked Kickstarter and support that. So uh, and also please follow at the E Riz at Hot Wheels R W A at Bobby F J Town at Mad Mike four eight eight three and Matt at. Uh, uh, that guy, uh, DJ Lunchbox. What? Shoot. <laughs> Did you just call him Matt? That, that, <laughs> that, yeah. Uh, I'm at Sorgatron. Uh, thank That's you for everybody right. joining us all night in the chat room. Mayhem out. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Wait for the perfect time.